What are some of your worst stories about players getting mad about restrictions in game? Be me. Forever DM. Be not me. Five misfits I find in a looking for group discord. Session zero. Discussing characters. I gave all players a handout of the setting and stated that the world's magic was far too stable for wild magic to exist. Player number five says he rolled a wild magic sorcerer. You what, mate? <laughs> you what? You what, mate? You what? Quote the handout. Player starts screaming in VC how I'm being unfair. We try to calm him down, but he refuses. I just ban him. Go on as normal. See people like get on like that, yeah. especially around strangers, really freaks me out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because you're online and it doesn't really matter if you get banned, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, see people that like... Like if that's what they get on, like, with strangers, what the yeah. fuck are they like IRL? I once had a player throw an absolute shit fit about playing pre-gen character in 90s Call of Cthulhu. Note that the pre-gens were all university academics, so lots of room for changing gender, race, fine detail, and no crippling flaws. I put my hands up and said I'd delay the session another hour if he could make another member of the university faculty who might be a good fit and called upon to investigate an archaeological find over Christmas. Of course he comes back with a, bal- <laughs> with a balaclava wearing former Royal Marine who hates reading and has a duffel bag of IRA bring back weapons. <laughs> nice, nice. When I told him straight out this was completely inappropriate, he went on an anti-intellectual tirade that made him sound like the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't think he knows what he's on about though. Like, I suppose it's different for us being from Northern Ireland, but like, really, if it was a Royal Marine, he should have been in the EVF or something. Yeah, like, no. Let's be serious. If he was, he, he should if have been a Royal, hand Royal Marine. He should have been he should have UVF. Commando, UVF, any of that type of stuff. Yeah. That's what gets me about Americans. All, talk about All they know is IRA. IRA, 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 IRA. Look, like, I'm sorry, they killed kids, all right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, they're just scum. But like, <laughs> let's just keep going, will we? Lawful good paladin wants to deus vault a town because its patron god was the god of harvest or plants or something agricultural and his was the god of soldiers. Got pissy when I told him that his god didn't want him willy-nilly genociding the followers of other good or neutral gods. Threw a massive shit fit, declared PvP on another player for out of character agreeing with me, and had to be told to leave. Internet brain conservatives not even once. I really have to wonder about people like this, you know. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love Matthias Volt meme, but that does not mean corn all the time. Like, let's be serious. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. You, you guys are better than this. <laughs> Player wants his knight to wear a diaper. No. Oh, my God. No. No. People like this need to get the fuck out. Like, you know, like... <sighs> I don't, I'm not even in the mood to say about why this shouldn't, why be, this shouldn't be, be a thing. thing. I'm, this... I'm, 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 I feel like I'm past this point. <laughs> I really am. I'm past this point of trying to like say to people, oh, you know, all them furries are going to crinkle and stuff. <laughs> that stuff's just not on. It's not yeah. cool. This is not cool. This green text isn't cool. But we're going to read it anyway. So, player wants his knight to wear a diaper. Delivers a lengthy speech explaining how armor was very difficult to take off just to piss or sh- <laughs> and how pissing or shitting yourself during a battle was extremely common. <laughs> so what he really wants is like, you know, one of those like astronaut nappies? Is that kind of like the idea? Like a or, work, like, like, you know, the way astronauts have like... Do they? Yeah, they've got <gasps> disposal in their suits, I'm pretty sure. I didn't know this. But the problem is... Do they is, have to wear like a catheter? I've no, Well, I think it is, but I'm pretty sure the problem is because there's no gravity. But if there's no gravity, does the piss go back up? Yeah, there's all these... Vid- have you seen no, any... No, shut up. No, shut up. My brain's going... <laughs> my brain's going... No, wait. If you in space, does it go back up? No, it won't go back up. Your muscles pour- force them out. No, no you'll up. be alright. I watched... There's a few videos on YouTube you can find of like astronauts like drinking water and stuff. It's actually really interesting. Recycled from piss? I think it was actually. Yeah, yeah I think it was. Like, we're getting sidetracked here. Like, back to the green tax. Goes on to talk about how in modern sports, pissing yourself happens all the time, since there's no chance to take a bathroom break. And everyone from football players to NASCAR drivers to marathon runners will just piss themselves and then maybe splash themselves with water to try and hide it. GM finally decides to cut in and tell the player that a diaper won't be necessary, since PCs don't piss or shit. 
but the player really will not budge and says the diaper represents his character's ingenuity and dedication to proper hygiene. Proper hygiene? hygiene? Come on now. GM just wants to start the game and says fine. Knight pisses, Knight <laughs> <laughs> pisses himself in the first encounter. Player looks extremely <laughs> pleased with himself. Like what does he say? Like in the first what encounter, I tell what does he roll? What I tell you, I peed. <laughs> what I tell you, I told you it was going to happen. I told you. <laughs> like I'm just happy this wasn't fetish stuff. And like you know, there is t- tons of photos online of like you know runners pissing themselves and stuff. So like you know, I suppose what he's saying isn't completely impractical. But, but you don't need it. You don't. Game. You really don't need it. It's kind of. You don't need it. In yeah, game. you really don't need to go that far. If I be honest with you, I'm sure probably people did do that. But you don't does it really matter that much? You know what I mean. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Nick Beardy's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards, and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us. And it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below. And just just look at this lizard lady with titties. <laughs> she got big titties. Look at the titties! <laughs> Be me, high school nerd having recently discovered RPGs. My literal third campaign ever. Announce my character is looking for a shtick before following the. Do you say shtick? Shtick, yeah. Shtick? Yeah. Alright, keep going. Oh, is it a shtick? A s- no, a stick. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> I, I, he kept saying shtick. Like Sean Conway. No, I was thinking of. Oh, it's a shtick. What? Oh, wait, oh, like a. It's his thing, a gimmick? You're yeah. on about. Alright, oh, well, go. Like, but is it a stick? Yeah, it's a stick. He was oh. a. Alright, never mind, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. And Knight's my character is looking for a stick before following the obvious plot hook. DM announces, I can't find one with an obviously antagonistic tone. Pointless contrarian that I am, keep looking for stick. There is no stick. Entire party joins in, announcing they will help me look for a <laughs> stick until it is found. Campaign ended there. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, sometimes players just enjoy doing stupid stuff and DMs just learn to roll with it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you like just just accept when you got Monty Python. You got Monty <laughs> Python. Yeah. You know what I mean? Player wants to ninja strike and incapacitate the villain they're fighting. A single chop to the back of the neck to drop a guy who could potentially solo the four of them. Say no. Complains. End up allowing and make a homebrew that they can try to take down enemies with some moves like that. But the DC is really high and it drops as the enemy gets weaker. He tries it once at an enemy with full health. Feels. Never tries again. <laughs> you know, that- and that's when I stop DMing unofficial slash fan systems. There aren't many players around and you tend to attract the worst kinds. Yeah, I would believe that most definitely. I don't know. I, that is kind of like a fun idea of a mechanic. However, it would just make Rogues very broken if he did it yeah, the way he wanted to do it. You know, I do like the idea of maybe if you want to do, like, you know, have like a game, like an all Rogue campaign. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just make like, oh, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yeah, actually, can, yeah. can so, actually, if any of you guys are watching, I mean, if you guys it. are DM, can you please like start up a Metal Gear Solid game and we can all play as like the fucking like Cobra unit or something? <laughs> I think it'd be really cool. Get in contact with me. I really want to play that game. Just so you <laughs> know, I'm out there. I'm free. I'm, g- I'm, I'm good most weekdays. <laughs> One of my players, let's call him Kevin, starts reading my advanced D&D 2nd edition manual and wants to run a hardline classic game with random rolls and shit. Convinces the other players and everyone is excited. Doesn't want to run it himself because he's never DM'd before, so I do it. Session 0. Explain open rolling. 0 HP death, unbalanced encounters, and 46 down the line drop lowest for stats. Kevin wants to play a paladin. Rolls shit for it and demands a redo. Nice. <laughs> Explains this was his idea, but he's having none of that and rolls anyway. Rolls double shit. <laughs> Proceeds with almost two hour argument about how fighters can't be knightly because only paladins, blah blah blah. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, you know, fighters are only just good with weapons. <laughs> paladins are holy warriors. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck it. 
says he'll be a ranger instead, but original shit and double shit roles are simply too shit. Flips out, berates everyone, storms out. Everyone else is cool and proceeds as normal. Kevin apologises a few days later and shows up with a fighter. He ends up playing a Robin Hood-esque bowman and is the only original PC to survive the campaign. It ended well, but that was the last game he was invited to. Yeah, it was a lucky start, yeah. but you know, like he did. It was like, like, guys, sorry about that. You know what I mean? I was getting on like a bit of a spurg. You know? Sorry. Can I play again? Can I play with you guys? You know what I mean? It's not. It's not the worst. This city has been covered by an almost impenetrable shell of magic as part of the curse that has been laid on... I cast teleport. You've never been to the place you're trying to teleport to. It's covered by a magical field. I don't care. I cast teleport. Okay, well, roll percent. And then if you succeed, roll percent to see how off target you are. Succeeds in casting but rolls poorly on the mishap. You land off target. We'll cut back to you ASAP. But, party, after you make it through the secret entrance, you have to find your wizard. Seeds. <laughs> Later. This peninsula has been invaded by an army of lizard men with magic resistance, clouding spellcasting in the area. It's completely blocked off from the mainland except by a series of ancient ruins, which are old and unmapped. So you are tasked with scout- I cast teleport to skip all that. For fuck's sake. The peninsula is full of creatures who have magic resistance and have prepared countermeasures. It's not going to work. Oh, come the fuck on, not again. Sulks the entire campaign arc. Be honest with you, I'm really not a fan of having stuff that skips. Like, see, like flying or teleporting. Teleport. I, 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 I don't like it in my game. I don't like it just because it, it, can, it just ruins it. It can, you're skipping out on an awful lot of stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like playing in Oblivion with cheats and move to quest target. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of what it is to me. Although, teleport can be used very well and so can anything else. It's just, Prairie's tend to abuse it. Let's be serious, guys. I know what yeah, you guys are thinking. It. More of a that guy, but 12 years ago. Just graduated high school, so playing D&D multiple times a week with friends. Group of four core, and two to four people who rotate from week to week. Finish up a quest to clear out a ruined temple of ghoulies and creepies. Someone finds an old magic tomb and no one can read it. One of the IRL girls in group, usually consistent attendance, asked if her character can try to decipher it over time, because her backstory is wanting to study magic items and devices. DM says sure, so she gets the tomb. Actual dick, fat kid, argues against her receiving it. Her character won't figure it out ever, so I'm going to take it to the wizard at the castle we met, because he'll figure it out for us. Her. Okay. And she hands it over. Everyone else is looking at him like he's a dick, and he tried to take it to the wizard back in time. DM makes him wait two actual IRL hours before he allows to seek audience. Meanwhile, the rest of us get to roleplay stuff and resupply, pick up side quests, etc. Fat Kid gets upset the whole time, but finally gets to see Wizard. Hey, can you decipher this, please? Thanks. Wizard t- <laughs> Wizard looks at it for two seconds. Nope, I can't do that. Too busy. Find someone else to try. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you mean he can't do it? He's the Grand Wizard of the castle. He can do it. Fuck you. He should be able to fucking do it. <laughs> I think that's out of character, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, that's a bit, a bit of a mix. He's a busy man. You're not worth his time. There's a lot more shit to do than just read a book for a bunch of level threes. Just give it to Sam so she can try. Fat Kid grumbles for about an hour until he finally returns to the party and gives it to Sam's character. So what does it say? The instant he hands it over. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had the chance to. See? 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 Sounds like Gollum. I'm I'm picturing. See? (laughs) See? She can't figure it out. Give it back so I can find someone else. Sam. No. Spends another hour trying to steal the book back and DM making bad shit happen to him every time. We played at his grandparents' house and had nowhere else to go, so that's why we put up with him. Honestly, the DM does sound like a bit of a simp in this situation. However, DM sounds like a simp. But, however, because it's early in the campaign, I'm going to assume he specifically put that in there because of our backstory. 
and the item was quite more than likely intended for her for her you yeah. know what i mean like it was kind of like a plot hook you yeah. know what i mean and i was like no come on i'm you know this is kind of obvious come on yeah. just just work with yeah. us you know and that's what i think i think it was just a plot hook and it is early in the game so it makes sense to me but if not he's a simp simp simp, <laughs> simp. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The thread is way bigger. Like so it's massive. It's, it's massive. And there's actually loads of really good yeah. comments on it. Normally, a lot of like you know threads are like mm, handful, you know, bits yeah. and pieces. So this because it's so big, if you've enjoyed this, this video, one. we can do another one off the same thread. And, of course, of course, if you have any of your own prime examples, please let them Put let them us in know. the comments. Let, let us know let down us below. Them. We got a plenty of ones from the other day that I want to do. We're going to yeah. be doing that as a video version. Yeah. The horror dm one so uh we'll definitely do that like this week i think and of course i know in the comments we're gonna do the next part of fucking the fresh prince right it's coming before any because i already know i could already feel it i can sense it i I could already hear the fucking (laughs) you know what i mean like you know so don't don't give me that shit all right guys i know it's coming all right but like i hope you guys enjoyed this one as always remember like comment subscribe check out the advert it helps us out a lot because a lot of our videos aren't getting monetized these days and i'll see you later bye